And welcome back everyone. Just gonna deposit the bobbleheads I've collected up to this point. So I can kinda get a roll call of them. I believe that's all of them. Yeah. Alright, so we've got one row filled up, which they use for row number two and row number three. So we have intelligence, agility, big guns, luck, energy weapons, speech, and perception. Alright, so what else do I need to do? What do you mean, see this place in its prime? Look at it! Ah, oh, you people are ungrateful. Alright, so let me see... Cardinal uh, and the Ruby Ruins. Put those two away. Put that away. Oh, forgot the unarmed bobblehead. Oh, why do I keep having crap in my eyes? Even though we haven't journeyed together. Uh, no, put that away. There. Alright, so yeah, let me give those things a quick listen. Bert Hagen Armory Password. I'm assuming that's just like a comic story, so I'll skip over that one. Letter. Oh, wait, no, that's from that scavenger, I believe, that we killed. Another schmuck that thinks he's everybody's hero. Okay, that's just a password. Damn it, scribe. I told you I didn't want the corners bent. The issues were to be in mint condition. I'm sorry, Proctor, but this is the only limited edition annual we've recovered. Even before the bombs fell, this was the rarest issue. The one where Grognak dies and comes back to life? Yes, Scribe. I've read the 2076 Underlane Price Guide from cover to cover, so I'm well aware of its past value. The fault for this travesty rests squarely on your shoulders because you chose to ignore the important lesson I taught you. Which is? Always bag and board. I'm sorry, sir. You're absolutely right. And I promise it will never... Um, sir, what's that red blinking light on your terminal? What? Oh, damn it all. I left it in record mode. Just let me... Alright, so that was the, uh, intelligence guy from the Brotherhood of Steel, which I guess he has a desire to collect all the grognock thingies. Letter. Uh, we found that, I believe, on a dead guy. Ramblings. Raiders are dumb.
Hmm. Wait, what did that say? Warning, if your name is not Zoe, you are reading this, then you are dead. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Or at the very least, I doubt a corpse is going to come back and try to kill me for reading its diary. Now the crazies are always out. Alright, so just so I know that I've read and listened to all those. Alright. Then we go put that picket fences up. And then we'll be on our way to the Mass Fusion building. Huzzah. Jackson assured I was well built for travel. His modification. Right, the Mass Fusion building is right there. And in there we shall find the strength bobblehead. And all that's left is the charisma bobblehead. Or the, uh, I don't know, what would I call these? I guess stats? The stat bobbleheads? And the charisma one, we're going to go on a little storyline tidbit. If you remember, we met, I believe his name's Deegan. Met him in uh, Diamond City in the dugout inn. He's like, hey, yeah, I got a job for you. Guy named Jack Kabat, but he likes to meet those he employs up in person. Okay, my cat's like falling asleep and then like picking his head up like, uh, no, I'm not that. Oh, wait, yeah, I am. I, no, no, I'm not. Oh jeez, gunners, again. <clears throat> That's right, I think there's super mutants down there. Hopefully my companions will allow me to be sneaky. What the hell are you doing? Oh man, my cats are psychotic. They're just not right in the head, aka their cats. Is that a gunner? Yes, it is. Okay, apparently that thing can't see me. I guess I need to be activated? Question mark? I'm guessing so. You're behind the sign, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're over there. And now you're dead. Nuka Cola? Doink. Reception terminal. Uh, 
Okay, that's a bit of a bug. Technical documents. Damn. Did someone drive a bulldozer through here? I don't know, might have. Hmm, that might have been the easiest novice luck I've ever worked with. Cement. Oh yeah, because I totally need the cement bag. I believe that takes care of this bottom floor. Quack. What the? Who? Get some. What the? Ah. <laughs> yeah, apparently, didn't like that, dude. Couple of goodies in there. Huh? Definitely taking the one out with the rocket launcher. So we looted those two. Yes, we did. Alright, looks like that does it for floor number two, or at least this side of it. See the threat. No, damn it. That smells absolutely terrible. Oh, well, yeah, it's a bathroom that hasn't been tended to for like 200 years. Of course, it's gonna stink. Records terminal. Mm. There's quite a few of them still left. Of course, I gotta remember that two of those are still those uh, turrets down below. Oh, hello. The hell? Why 
I picked up that security baton. Oh hell, I got two of them. Let's get through here quickly. Oh hi! Another one bites the dust. Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. That's why you're not in charge. Get out of my way, poor Favor. What are you talking about? I'm feeling eyes on my back. Don't talk to me. Here. You fucking idiot. You stupid dog! You made me look bad. Then again, it's not like these gunners have been giving me trouble. Oh, hello. Safety off. I think we have company. Yeah, we do. Come on. Oh well. Hey, dog me. Hey. Nice, I got the full set. Although I think I gotta repair the helmet. Cause I broke it. Oh damn it. Missed a couple of things. Oh, hello, drugs. All right, now how do we get back up top? See what was in the commander's office. Ooh, mini nuke. Hell yeah. And then see bubblehead is right there. Yay. Alright, so that about wraps up our uh, 
and you're here. It's amazing how they managed to fit a typewriter in there. Uh, I heard a little. <laughs> captain the knee. You know, you're not captain the knee, you just jumped like a buffoon. Uh, so yeah, I guess those turrets aren't going to be hostile to us. Security office terminal. Oh yeah, that's for later. Yeah, we'll be revisiting this place later on in the game story. Oh, don't be bugging out on me now. Uh. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, game. Okay, so that was like a series of just crash upon crash. So that was annoying. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Like, basically, <laughs> the game froze. And then when I tried to go back to Bandicam, it froze. And then when I tried to, like, mess with uh, Windows, it froze. So I had to do Control Delete. When that came up, that froze. And then I managed to somehow get it, to, or I guess it managed to somehow work, and I was able to end. The game is a process which unfroze everything else. So it's like, thanks Bethesda for not quality checking your own fucking game and constantly relying on modders to do it. That gaming companies just don't give a shit anymore. Oh, we've got modders for that. We don't need to waste our precious time fixing our game that people pay money for. Because even if we don't, they'll still buy our shit, which is sadly true. I mean, like, with Skyrim, I never had too many bug issues. Give me one. Well, I mean, it's got a load screen going here. Oh, don't tell me you fro- Oh, I was gonna say, don't fucking freeze again. Or favor. Alright, now to head back to the castle. Because, I mean, the two bugs that are really killing it for me are the Pip-Boy freezing the game and then the Invisible Guns bug, which, as far as I know with the Invisible Guns, is just equip and unequip, and then it's sorted. And then with the Pip-Boy freezing, I haven't found a solution for that one yet. But, yeah. Alright, so that just leaves the Charisma Bobblehead, which, as I said, we're going to be going on a little storyline that involves Jack Cabot and his family. So that'll be a fun time for the whole family. And I believe we'll get introduced to... Bunker Hill? No, no, we don't run into Bunker Hill doing their tidbits. Well, I want to say they're close to Bunker Hill. Are they more in the center of Boston? I forget. Hey. What? Yeah, what is it? Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. Mm-hmm. We're friends. No thanks necessary. Well, I wanted to say it anyway. You stuck your neck out for me. And I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. You ought to try cursing once in a while. It's good for the soul. Oh, believe me. I know. It's not about you. It's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. Had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. The promise to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. Mm. 
How could you leave them behind like that? I didn't have much of a choice. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day, he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next, he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Yeesh. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. Well, a few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Hmm. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Alright. All right, where am I going? I need to deposit stuff. All right, so I guess we're going to have a little bit of an interlude before we continue our hunt. Nah, I didn't pick up too much food stuffs. That's right, dog meat. Where you at? Where the hell did dog meat go? Oh, there he is. Hey. I'll deposit that stuff in here. So, you ready to get stuff it all in here? I guess I may as well rest up. I can find a bed. Damn it, dog meat. Jackson assured I was well built for travel. Aha. There we go. Alrighty, folks, I think we're going to end the video here, and in the next one, we shall... Where's the... Ah, here we go. Alright, so in the next video, folks, we shall go uh, bring McCready to this MedTech Research Lab, and hopefully get a cure for his uh, supposed son. Have a look at lights. This has been Fallout 4, and I shall see you all in the next video.